Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another day in my studio. If you've been here before, welcome back, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Kimmy. Today I'm here to share another process video with you of scrapbooking in my hybrid 2024 Project Live album. I worked in one pocket page and I did a um, traditional scrapbooky type layout. So grab a cup of coffee, tea, or better yet, water, because you know we all need more water. <laughs> Sit down and relax while I share my process with you. So semi, real quick, um, I'm going to make another page for kind of like a January opening. Um, I still have some January cards that I want to make sure that I use up. So um, I, I printed out a few more photos to use in a six by eight layout. So one of these pages where there's two three by fours on the top and then a six by four on the bottom. And um, I'm just kinda, I'm gonna wanna put it in the beginning of my 2024 album. Mainly to use up the January cards because I forgot I had them. <laughs> I know I need to use them, I want to use them. And um, also because there are a couple pictures that I thought were really fun that I wanted to include in this album somehow. So let me get out my paper trimmer here and so most of these or not most of these two of these photos are for um week three of project life and i actually don't have any pictures for week four unfortunately so um, I'm just going to skip that week altogether and move on to week five after this. I've actually been watching This Is Us lately. Um, I used to, I think I started it years ago when it first came out and I never kept up with it. So I started watching it again and oh, I love that show. Oh my gosh. Even though <laughs> I think it's over now. I think it ended. I think I read that it ended in 2021 or 2022. And here I am just getting started on it and loving it. But anywho. Um, let's see if I want to put anything over here. I think I just love that. But, let me see. I also have bigger phrases. This is canvas. I always like to use the canvas outside of the page protector. The chipboard too. I don't know, it just adds so much when you do it that way. Um, I, think, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to that. So now let's get to doing what this video should actually be about. And that is week three. So I want another page protector here. Because I want another big page. I have several small pages here in a row. 
So I want another long page. Otherwise, I might as well have done a small album if I'm just going to have a bunch of small pages, right? <laughs> so. Okay, I'm going to put this away. Over here. Ooh, sorry. Chair hit my desk. I'm going to raise this up just a tad so my chair doesn't do that again. It's the, it's the arms of my chair. I like to do that. So I have kind of an idea of what I'd like to do over here. All right. Oh, what? So I got this card in the Brandy Kincaid Extravagant Hope mailer that she sends out once a month to her subscribers. And I thought it was really cute. It's a little postcard and it says, home is a feeling we carry. And I wanted to include this in my little page protector this week. And I also want to include some, obviously some photos. So this is, this is my dog, Holly front and center right there. And that's Spud in the background. And then this is a picture of a game that we were playing with some friends. It's called Ransom Notes, which you have those little magnetic word tiles. And there's a prompt right there. And um, we have just a handful of our own tiles and we have to put together a sentence that kind of describes this. So this is write the warning label for a new Viagra alternative. And we... Yeah, I'm not going to read them to you. I might get flagged on YouTube, but it was pretty funny. I love that game. It's really fun. And I'm thinking about putting this card right here for some journaling. And the other pictures I have of this week are us making homemade pizzas. So I have to figure out what sizes I want to print those pictures at, if they're going to be in a page protector or not. Um, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to put you guys on fast forward while I figure all that out. <laughs> Right, so I kind of sort of think I figured this out, how I'm going to lay this out in my album. I think what I want to do, this picture right here is going to go on the back of this page protector right here. This is going to go in the front, but I still have to do my journaling. And then I need to print, wow, I don't know why I forgot, but I need to print two photos to go in here. And then I think I'm going to, these are eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. And um, they're by Sahin Designs on, she has her own website, but she has some digital stuff on lilypad.com and um I think she also has some physical product but this is from which collection is this from uh Cody Cozy Cottage which was released a couple years ago I think 2021 20 22 something like that really cute stuff in that collection I think what I want to do is it's going to be kind of a scrapbook layout. It's going to be more of a scrapbook layout than um, like a project life layout. And I thought I would put the photo here and then print some, um, print the journaling over here on a journaling card that also came with the, with the um, collection, the Cozy Cottage collection. And then I think I actually want to put like back the journaling with another pattern here. I'm 
just not sure which one, but I'm going to figure that out while I have you here. I'm just going to fast forward you while I do it. And this is on um, Epson Ultra Premium Presentation Paper, I think is what it's called. Ultra Premium Matte Presentation Paper is when I print out um, all of my digital elements, um, even including paper and everything onto. So uh, anyway, sorry if I say that a lot. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I think I want a piece of black cardstock to go with this. I need some more of it. I only have a few sheets left. I haven't done a traditional layout in a little while. I think I did. I did one kind of traditional layout in my December daily. I really need to finish this and do a flip through or at least post more photos of it online. But I, yeah, this one, it's kind of a traditional scrapbook layout there with my animals in my office trying to help me do December daily they try to help me do anything whenever I'm in the office they're right there on the floor with me my cat is um, trying to just be right there in my face dogs on the floor in this case I actually even had a rabbit in the office with me um, but yeah I kind of did a traditional scrap bookie layout with that one and not so much um like a modern memory keeping type thing i think that was the only one in here but anyway yeah i haven't i don't do those very often and i really miss doing those i really want to do more of those so i gotta make that a thing so i have a few papers printed out here this is a wood grain one this is a really pretty pattern like a daisy chain pattern almost I have at least one more printing maybe two but yeah I think I really like this paper as a background paper I think and then have black as an even more craft background paper almost like it's a mat sitting on there and then I really like layers in case you didn't know that oh this one just printed out this is all the little motifs basically that came in the collection there's a candle a tea kettle an umbrella these rabbits I just can't get enough of those rabbits <laughs> And I don't know if you noticed on this one, there's little rabbits and bears. Isn't that adorable? I just, I really can't get enough of these. So cute. I wish I could, I wish I had little kids. So um, I could use a lot of this paper right here. I think this is, would be really cute on kid layouts. But anyway, and then this is the last paper I printed, which is leaves, little leaves in a grid pattern. All right, so I'll probably either put you on fast forward again or just I'll skip ahead. There will be chapters down below um, so you can navigate this video a little bit easier. I know I'm kind of all over the place as usual. <laughs> I wouldn't change anything I wouldn't change anything
up this is week three and um, I am behind but um, I am a little bit behind and I want to at least try to catch up to February at least the first week in February before I start adding in some time to spend on my December daily project but this is week three and like I said I don't think I have any pictures from week four? Oh, and I do have one one thing I want to add into week three, which is a part of this Dezo bag. I um, finally visited a Dezo store that has been on my wish list for a while, and um, really glad I was able to finally visit a store. So I'm going to cut a piece of this paper bag to fit in here too. But yeah, I think that is it. So please let me know if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll do the best I can to answer them. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.